Um, hello, I'm Alicia Edelweiss. Um, I'm, I'm a musician and I live in Vienna and I play something um, that people would maybe call freak folk or anti-folk and mostly with acoustic instruments. And I sing and I write my own songs. Right. And I play accordion as well, and guitar and piano and all kinds of stuff. Oh, cool. Oh. Do you have any other performers mm -hmm. who inspired you? It's like when, when you perform, you definitely have like a whole character and you're very intentional and very dramatic. And I wonder what gave you that confidence to start doing that? I think I just learned how to be myself, basically. I mean, there's a lot of artists who, who I really love, but I never like tried to copy anyone or thought like, ah, I'm gonna do that as well. It was more like, maybe like I saw tiny parts in other people where I thought, ah, that's also me. Um, like I really love Coco Rosie, for instance, or, um, hmm. I love the tiger lilies also because they have accordion and it's very like theatrical and um, performative stuff. But yeah, like my biggest, I think, um, way to, to perform like this was like just finding out who I was and like just like letting out anything that came without criticizing it or censoring myself and stuff. I guess the street music, like playing a lot on the street, I, th I think because you have to like um, try to get the attention from the people, you start like making big movements and stuff. And, and I've always loved dancing and I think it all just comes together when I perform. Would you, um, would you recommend being like a street performer, <laughs> like practicing on the street to other like young musicians? Yes, I definitely. I think it's a very good um, school for anyone like to to learn um, about performing and how pe people's reactions can help you to become better even and and also like a big teacher to like what my biggest lesson was to to learn how to just play for myself because like often there's no one like listening and no one's interested and you're not earning any money. And then you just like, you have to enjoy it in order for other people to enjoy it. So that was my, my biggest lesson when playing on the street. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> um, and so I want to, we're, we're kind of doing a lesson on songwriting. Can you, can you tell me what like some of the first things you think about when you start to write a new song? how your process goes i have this kind of like stream of consciousness um attitude like i just mostly just start writing something and and like try to not think or judge or like i don't even try to make a form or anything and i just write and write and write and and normally at some point good stuff starts coming out so most of the time the first verses or something aren't that good and I'm like okay I don't know and then somehow you find the direction through just doing and not stopping and um, that's most of the time my process but I don't usually sit down and write some it's more like they normally just come out at certain points or if there's a lot of emotion coming up or um like, I, I'm not um, very disciplined that I sit down and I write a song. It's just very, like, sporadic and totally unpredictable. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> uh, I guess when you're writing a song, how often do, do you, like, feel the music already? Like, kind of know like, mm -hmm. what it sounds like? Mm. Um... Like sometimes the music comes first, like on the instrument and then like lyrics just come along. And sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm trying to, like I write the lyrics and I, I start searching for chords on my accordion, for instance, but it doesn't feel right on the accordion. And then sometimes I 
I think, okay, I'll try it on the piano or on the guitar and and then it works better. It's always very different. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of trying out and I don't usually hear what it will sound like in the end. Before. It's a lot of trying out and failing and just trying to get there. Um, do you have any tips for people to maybe, mm, I guess to like, maybe some good first steps to start trying things? Sorry, I usually have my questions a little more. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I, I once did a songwriting workshop actually, and we did one exercise which helped a lot of people. It was like writing uh, with a deadline, like with, um, like I put the people in groups and they'd get like some random sentence and then I'd say okay you have to write a song containing this sentence within 40 minutes and mostly the people were in groups of two but you can also do it alone um, but it works very well if it's two people because if you've never written a song it's good to have like a buddy or something who's who's gonna like motivate you because on your own, you you tend to criticize yourself more, and then, and with the time pressure, you're like, oh, we have to finish it. We have to take anything that comes, and then you just learn how to finish a song really quickly. So that's a really um, good exercise. Yeah, but <laughs> I guess if there's anything you feel um, mm. feel like strongly about, like the idea of becoming a performer or a singer, like if you have any like specific wisdom to share. Mm. I want to make sure I give you a chance to share that, even if I don't ask the right question. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me think. <laughs> yeah. um, mm. Well, I think my my I think my biggest m motto was always like, um, like if you know what you're afraid of, or like, like it's always like a really big sign where you want to go. It's like artistic feels if you're like oh, I'm really scared of doing this or like I mean there's a difference of not wanting to do it just because you don't want to do it and if you're scared of it and mostly if you're afraid of something you should do it like that was always my thing like uh, and that's how you grow and grow um, over your limits and get better and better yeah can you can you give us an example like from your own well for me like just beginning with street music was like one huge step I was really really scared and I it took me ages to really do it for the first time because I was like having a lot of excuses in my head and then later on it was like um, organizing the first gig for myself and stuff like that putting together a band which wasn't that easy actually like finding musicians who want to play with you and it's all like a really long process and you you make a lot of mistakes and stuff but but in the end like you always get where you want to get if you continue hmm. <laughs> yeah I, and I was always um yeah my big one big dream of mine was like to combine um performance and music and theater and music and that was like also a big thing for me like just to do it and then when you do it once it's really easy to carry on because the fear is gone because you know you can do it if you if you dream about it if you dream about something you can definitely do it yeah, yeah I think it's also like working with the people you like um, makes your art like I, I don't know like you can't express yourself self freely around everyone. Like I can't do that either. But like some people really um, bring the best out in you. And that's nice when you have artistic bodies who are on the same wavelength. But that, I, I don't find them very often that it happens and that, then that's really beautiful. Like uh, an example of a song that comes like really quickly, like it came out like in, maybe 15 minutes or something. But it, the, the melody on the other hand, like um, I was 
created during a jam session with a friend of mine called Leonie. And she's a violin player and, and we were just jamming for like one and a half hours and recording it. And it was like a lot of um, like weird improvisation. And then at some point in the middle of the recording, I heard this melody um, that became the main melody of the song. And I just felt like, wow, it's so cool. And, and I just felt really inspired and wrote that song really quickly. <laughs> And it's about this friendship and about music and also about that jam session in a way, like what happens when you improvise and um, make music in the moment. Mm. Okay. This is the hit song, some would say. The most listened to song by me in the last months. Uh, I wrote it for a friend of mine. Mm. 